Now, there are other ways to edit a viewport as well. If you select one, come to the Properties panel. See, I told you in the very beginning that I leave this Properties panel open all the time because there are so many different uses for it. We have our regular general settings for color, line type, layer, etc. Basic geometry. And now we have our miscellaneous settings. Is the viewport on? Yes. I can turn it off. So if you need to show a drawing real quickly without a specific view in it and print it out, you can turn it off real quick without losing any of your work. You can clip a viewport. You can lock it or unlock it. You can change the scale. We can't now though because it's locked. So if I unlock it, I can now change my custom scale. Let's say instead of 1 to 100, it's 1 to 50, and it zooms right in. Because we're using associative dimensions, they follow. I can change some visual styles, some shading, and other things that we typically don't need to use unless we're doing some 3D work and rendering in AutoCAD. Press escape to deselect that viewport. Sometimes you have a hard time selecting the proper viewport. For example, if this viewport overlapped and I wanted to click here, well, but that's not the one I want. I can come over here and sometimes it can get hairy. Well, here's a little trick. If you press Control and R at the same time, it'll toggle you through the different viewports in that layout tab. So you just pick the one you want and go. Because if you pick this button here for the paper space, it'll just activate on one of the viewports that are available, and it may be the wrong one. So you either just double click in there or hit Control R. Let me show you another example. If this viewport is completely inside the other viewport, which happens sometimes, and I click right here, how do I get that viewport? See, you can get stuck real easy because I'm inside the viewport. So if I click outside and then I click inside again, I'm not getting the right one. So I press Control R and now that one's activated. Sometimes you need a viewport that's not a rectangular shape. Well, you can go to the Layout tab and you can create a polygon viewport. Now, this uses essentially your P line command. And you can make any shape that you want. Close it up, and there's your viewport. So, you can get some really odd shapes, or if you need something that's really weird that's not a rectangle, you can get that shape in here. If you use the clip command, you can select your viewport. Press enter and draw a new shape with a polyline and it clips it out for you. That'll save your settings, it'll save your dimensions in the right place and all of that. Just follow the on-screen instructions.